right, this is, a, this is a, I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. This is a rant quest. Another rant quest. And this is my thoughts on, thoughts on the Whisper Network, which is, I find, yeah, that's real. It's just, uh, literally just Facebook groups of fucking women who just want to get some clout who just want to bring down their fellow employees so they can move up in the workplace, and they're untalented hacks. From what I understand, they're untalented hacks. Which is just fuck. Which, yeah. It's fucked up that this shit exists. But you know what? This is a fucked up year. This is 2020, the fucked up year. The beginning of a new fucking decade, and it's already fucking shit. With this fucking Wuhan flu, which is what it is. No coronavirus here. No, this is the Wuhan flu, folks. Is it racist to say the Wuhan flu? No, because this is where the shit comes, comes from. It, you have flu-like symptoms. And this shit comes from... From a city, this this coronavirus started in a city called Wuhan. So is it racist? No, 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 no. Let me give you, let me give you a, let me give you an example of the, of a racist name for a Chinese flu. You know, or an Asian flu. We'll, Here's, here's a racist name for some context. The chink flu. That's the racist name. That is inherently racist. You have a racial slur for for Chinese people being used to, 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 in front of a fucking flu. That's a racist name. Wuhan flu. No, it's not racist. Because, the, because this coronavirus shit, COVID-19, whatever you fucking want to call it, the Wuhan flu. It's the Wuhan flu, folks. This shit has been weird. This sh this year has been weird. And the and it's coming out that there's whisper networks. You know, if at the end of the year aliens show up themselves, I wouldn't be surprised. I I'd, I'd just be I'd just be excited cuz it's an opportunity to get off this fucking fucked up planet. Yeah, so the so the whisper network it got this whisper network. It reminded me of the episode of a Doctor Who episode called "Listen." In the episode, in that episode, it was written by Stephen Moffat, and you basically have the Doctor. He goes on a paranoid rant, and then his paranoia is vindicated. His paranoid, his paranoia is vindicated. It's proven right that there is some kind of creature that stalks random people all over the universe and shit like that. And it all started with Clara. And at the end of the episode, it all started with Clara. That's interesting. That's an interesting metaphor from Stephen Moffat. That is an interesting moth. That is an interesting metaphor. Because supposition, how do you find a whisper network? You know what you do? You listen. You listen. So yeah. That reminded me of that episode. I, I wonder if Stephen Moffat suspects the existence or suspected the existence of a whisper network in the BBC. I wonder. I sincerely wonder. Was he forced out of the job, or did he just voluntarily leave? Did he know about Chris Chibnall and his ilk? Did he know about what was going to happen? How much? How much did he suspect that, or know that, the Doctor Who is going to get ramrodded like it did with, the, with series eleven and series twelve? I'm curious. Was he? Was, was did they talk? Did the executives talk to Stephen Moffat? Did they say to him, look, we don't want to, it's like, look, you leave now, or this shit goes public, whatever it is. Was he blackmailed out, or did he voluntarily leave his contract when his contract expired? 
did they did, did that happen? I don't know. I I honest I honestly don't have any of details. Would Stephen Moffat ever comp or admit to it? I don't know. Now, Stephen Moffat, for better or worse, he, he presided over some good times for Doctor Who. He presided over Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi's eras as the doc eras as the Doctor. He presided over those two those two eras, those two doctors, for better or worse, Stephen, Stephen Moffat at his worst, he wasn't pissing on the legacy of Doctor Who, he wasn't fucking pissing on it, at his worst, which you can't, you can't say the same about Chris Chibnall and his ilk. But I have to wonder, though, if, he, if Stephen Moffat suspected the existence of a whisper network inside the BBC, or if he had any idea of any of that shit going on, or if there's any of that shit going on in the BBC. It honestly wouldn't surprise me. But no, yeah. I don't know if we're still going to be talking. When this episode airs, I don't know if we're going to still be talking. We're going to still be talking about these fucking whisper networks. I really hope not. I really hope this shit gets cleaned out. This Wuhan flu cleans, clean slate with Hollywood because they need to make money. They've pissed away so much, so many woke, so many fucking failures on the books that it's retarded. And now we have Disney. It's not looking too good for Disney. They need, they need money. They need hit. They need hits. Rise of Skywalker and the Last Jedi were fucking pieces of trash garbage, and they're f they're fucking tanking. So yeah, this all this Whisper Network bullshit. I, I, honest, it's got to stop. And it all all it takes is all the targets to say no, this or no, this didn't happen, or no, that what what happened was consensual. What was done was with consenting adults. You fuckers. That's what these people. That's what people need to say. It's like what was done was done between two consenting adults. And this rumor bullshit seriously has to stop. That's my rant on the subject. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. Get your jewels in one where you can. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego. And I'm a spaceman. <laughs>